this is a 77 foot azimuth sport bridge and the idea of this is it's the coupe styling and performance but you get the small fly ridge as a bonus as well it's a very intelligently configured boat actually so i'll take you on board of this one and of course give you the full tour excuse the airplanes overhead she's a 2019 we're going to step on by the bathing platform now this one this whole platform flips over flush against the back of the boat and it pivots down as you can see it here in order to use it as a bathing platform and then there's a garage in here and that will take a Williams 325 and it'll take a jet ski and basically they come out on cradles they come across here you can see the fixings of them here and this drops down almost like a slipway really and you slide the boat or the ski into the water we'll head up this way there's a passerelle on here as well you can see that extending down over on that side but we'll go up this way We've got the cockpit area here. Now this is typical of the sort of the sports cruiser style with a big sun pad over the back, really fantastic area. We've got seating here, as you can see around this big table. So a nice area for outside eating or just relaxing. And you've also got the wet bar underneath here with the barbecue. And there is a fridge and there is an ice maker so a well catered for area and it's quite a decent size area as well if i come around to here you can see there's quite a big bit of floor space here that's the steps up to the fly which we will of course look at that we'll look at the deck areas crew cabins engine room and so forth but we're going to start on the inside because this is a very tasteful interior i think check this out feels really light really open the way these windows drop all the way down is fantastic it's just a very comfortable zone a nice place to be we've got storage over here like so there's a TV that rises up from this one an interior dining area and then what we've got here is a side access door and then this is for your crockery so that all lives down all nicely secured like so Helm position is here. They do an option of two helm seats or one. This particular boat was configured with just the one helm seat. And then you've got your usual Raymarine multifunction displays in behind here. You've got, uh, it's IPS on this one, so we've got the joystick control, we've got bow thruster, engine controls, all of that kind of thing. And this also has the sunroof. So this whole section here, we'll see it a bit better from the outside, is a sliding section. We've got the blind that goes back first of all, and then there's a uh, fiberglass top and that all powers back into like a garage out of the way so that when you're running fast you can be in here you can have the open roof but you're really sheltered by the windscreen it's a good place to be when you're really doing some speed and you can with this it's a fast boat we'll talk about that when we go into the engine space we're going to take you down to the lower deck next it's four cabins and four heads so they're all en suite which is rather nice but the first thing we come across is the galley that's tucked away in here a big storage area underneath the floor we've got the um, all electric um, ceramic hob of course um, this is all Miele this one here is your fridge with your freezer underneath we've got your dishwasher in here all the usual kind of stuff and storage along here if we come out of here we'll head forward first of all I think and then we'll work our way back. I love the finishes in here. All this is textured. It's really, really nice. If you come right up to the bow, we've got the VIP cabin. Really nice size cabin. A load of headroom in here, actually. If I stand here, you can see it's quite a, quite a decent reach up to the ceiling. Um, that tab there is because there is a hatch on the other side of that. So that's an emergency route out if it's ever needed. Uh, what else have we got? We've got hanging lockers about the place of course storage as well in places like this and the same on the other side so like so <laughs> fairly full of stuff at the moment and that one I'm curious about what's in here oh I know what this is it's a little dressing table look at that that's nifty, isn't it? And your TV is in here as well. OK, let's head on back down the boat. No, we won't. <laughs> We've not looked at the ensuite. Let's take a quick gander in here. 
So that is your ensuite. And you've also got, of course, separate shower in here as well. Again, some lovely finishes about the place. It's an Italian boat and it feels it. Very, very nice. Okay, back down here. If we hook into this one, we've got the two singles in this one. And again, with a hanging locker. So that is there and shells underneath it. And I mentioned all the cabins are ensuite. This one has the ensuite. Like so. And the shower. For a 77 foot boat, they get a lot into this, especially a sports cruiser rather than an all out flybridge, which flybridge boats tend to be designed a little bit more for volume, sports cruisers, and a little bit more for performance. So to get this level of accommodation to here is pretty good. We'll come right on back. There is another cabin here. They're all nice and brightly lit, big windows. Good headroom. This one's got a Pullman berth, so this fella here can drop down and make that into a third berth if it's needed for this cabin. So she'll actually sleep nine in total with that in play. Again with a hanging locker. <laughs> I'm opening them all. I think you've probably got the hang of them by now, though. That is um, actually that's locked, and I'll tell you why that's locked. It's because that is doing duty as a day heads. Hopefully that's the reason it's locked. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Yeah, there we go. So that door that I just tried to open is that one. So at night, you can lock this one, and have that one unlocked, and make that an ensuite to that cabin during the day. Well, then this becomes a day heads. Straight out from the steps. Again, you've got your sink in here, of course. Again, you've got your shower and your loo, and so forth. But again, good size. And then finally, if we head right on back, owner's cabin. This is lovely. Again, you're seeing the, the quality and the, and the colours and the finish. I just think it's superb. They've gone with the high gloss woodwork, but there's not too much of it. So it doesn't sort of jump out at you. It just gives that little bit of quality about the place. I like that very much. We've got a little table over on this side. Nice little breakfast nook. We've got the big windows on the outside of the boat. And if we come back here, we will find course this has the biggest ensuite. All to the same standard, it's just the size that varies. A nice big shower. I love the lighting in there as well. That's fantastic isn't it? Okay there we go, let's head on a bit further, there's more to see. Quick little wave in the mirror for you mirror waving pans. Love these shelves here. Oh, they're all backlit and illuminated. It's a class job, isn't it? We will take a stroll around the other side because I want to show you that it has a walk-in wardrobe. Check that out. Again, not something you'd necessarily expect to find in a 77-foot sports cruiser, but nonetheless, there it is. That is a nice cabin. Alrighty, let's press on. Plenty more to see. TV in here, when you switch that off, that just changes into a mirror. It shines through the mirror when it's on and disappears when it's off. Uh, air conditioning controls, light switches, all that kind of stuff. And you're probably expecting me to say that it's got a washing machine in here and a dryer, but it hasn't. That's just storage. The washing machine and dryer are in the crew area, which I'm going to show you. So we're back through here, back up to the main saloon. We'll head on back. I'm going to take you around the decks next. And up onto the flybridge. So, if we head around this side, we've got um, stern berthing controls in here, so the joystick control. Side gates for if you're alongside a dock, that's a useful feature. And then some pretty decent side decks, because you can see how deeply bulwarked these are. So it feels very secure as you walk up through the boat. That is the side door that we saw in the main saloon. And we step on forward. We have a powered cabana here. So this will drop away electrically. And that is providing shade for this area here. This is a great area, especially if you're stern two berths as we are at the minute, because rather than sitting at the back and looking at the quay and people walking past, you can sit at the front 
<laughs> your view's normally out across the water, not so much at the boat show. Your view here is full of more boats. They do pack them in, don't they? It's remarkable. Can you imagine the organisation that goes into getting all these boats in, in the right order, that you can fit them all together like this? It must be like a, like a plain Tetris with boats. We've got uh, sunbathing up here, of course. If we come right up to the bow, all the anchor handling kit is here. Anchor lockers and so forth. Some pretty serious stainless steel rails going on around here as well. And that's how she looks from here. Those round fellows that we're seeing about the place, those are speakers. And you can see there's a little fusion head unit, that's a little grey fellow down there. So you can control the stereo from here as well. Deck lockers up here. So that is like this. That's a very, very useful thing. And that is the sliding roof I mentioned when we were inside. That's over the lower helm, and you can see how big that is. So with that slid back, you've got that sort of open top feeling, but you're a lot more sheltered. But if you want to go proper open top, well then we've got a flybridge for your delectation. Let's carry on round, and I will show you that. So we'll come round here, back through the cockpit, and then these steps will take us on up. Voila, this is the little bonus that you don't normally get on a sports cruiser. Normally they're just like a flat top up here. It's much smaller than you'd find on a full-on flabbage boat, but if that's what you want, then that's what you go for. This is designed for people who want the sporty looks, the high performance, the sliding roof, the tender gouge, all that kind of stuff that you get with a sports cruiser. This gives you all of that, and then this is a bonus. I think it's fantastic. We've got the bimini on here as well for a bit of shade, helm position on this side, and of course, you know, you're getting the full wind in the hair experience up here 30 knots down the coast <laughs> sunny day absolutely fantastic this is the miami boat show pretty cool huh so that is the flybridge seating around the back there as you can see and then we've got the little mast there for things like the track vision the um floor camera is up there and there's a radar up on top as well Okay, last thing to talk about is the engines and the crew area. So we are going to tunnel back down these stairs. And this time we'll go down to the side of the boat, another side access door for if you're on the long side of the dock. And then this one here will... I'll push that button first. There we go. That will swing open. like so, and down we go. Now there are two crew cabins down here, one is in use, so we're definitely not going in there, but I will show you this one over here. So what you've got here is a single bed across that way and then again with a pullman. So that one will drop down if you need to sleep two in here then you can do and the other one sleeps two as well. Um, storage lockers in here. The woodwork and everything in here is actually really good. It's kind of pretty much guest cabin standard really, isn't it? You've got air conditioning controls, lighting controls, little reading light by the bed, all that kind of stuff. And then if we come across here, we've, this is where the uh, laundry facilities are, so we've got the dryer there and the washing machine underneath. And if we come around here, then we've got the heads. And the shower, separate shower. Again, the 77 foot sports cruiser, that is remarkable. I've seen bigger boats with less. That is pretty darn good. They've got a lot into this. And finally, if we go into this one, we will find the engine space. And we're not done with packing it in. First thing we've got is the Sea Keeper, so that's a gyro stabiliser. Twin generators, again, 77 foot sports cruiser. That's not something you would necessarily expect. And you probably also wouldn't expect three engines. Check that out. Now these are IPS pod drive engines. They're IPS 1350s and they are 1,000 
horsepower each. They're giving the boat about 35 knots flat out. She cruises at around 28 apparently. That's a fast speed. There's a lot of flybridge boats of this size do 28 knots flat out. This cruises at 28 knots and that's back to the fact it's a performance boat again. Range about 300 miles at that kind of speed. Inevitably, as is always the case, if you drop the speed right back, you get an awful lot further. But that's what you're getting at a fast cruise. This is the tender garage up here. That's why the, the ceiling comes down over the engines and that's you know, really how they've packed it in by using areas like that twice. So you've got engine space and you've got tender space. A lot of spec on this one. Even got water maker. Look at this. Again, it's the sort of stuff you expect to find on bigger boats. And then we've got all the electrics and the generators we've already mentioned. But yeah, twin generators on a 77 foot sports cruiser. Brilliant. There we go. I think we've pretty much done it, haven't we? Let's come back out of here. It's back into this crew area. Let's close that door back over. There we go. And we'll come back up. Back out onto the side deck. Let's just drop that little fella shut. There we go, that one. Power closed. There he goes. I don't know if you can hear that, but that's got a power closing mechanism on it. And let's come right up onto the bow. And we'll finish up on the foredeck. So there we go, Azimut 77S. I think that is a really cool boat. Massive thanks to Denison Yachting. They've got me on board of this one. I'll put a link to those guys in the description. Huge thanks as ever to you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of that one. And we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.